Hi, my name is Pam Curry. I'm a Senior Education Officer Colleges with the General Teaching Council for Scotland. In this short video, I'm going to talk you through the registration process uh, that will be rolling out from the 6th of September onwards. Registration is now mandatory for lecturers with a GTC Scotland recognised teaching qualification. If you're eligible to register, you'll be contacted by us from the 6th of September onwards. You will need a, a copy of your TQFE or your recognised primary or secondary teaching qualification. You will also need three pieces of identification in order to complete an updated PVG. All lecturers are required to register with GTCS per the 2017 and 2018 national agreements. However, at present, our rules only allow us to register those who have both a teaching qualification and 190 days satisfactory experience. We are working on a rule change from April 2022 and further information will follow for lecturers who are not currently eligible for registration. There is also a separate process for lecturers who qualified outside of Scotland and they will also be included from April 2022. The rollout in August 2021 therefore only applies to those who have a TQFE, a recognised primary or secondary qualification from a Scottish institution and 190 days satisfactory service. If you are not sure whether you are eligible for registration, please speak to your local HR department in the first instance. If you are a current registrant, either in the further education category or in primary or secondary, you do not need to take any action. If you have registered with GTC Scotland in the past in any registration category, you will receive a separate invitation to re-register. We don't need to see your teaching qualification again, but you do need to do an EPVG update. You will also be required to pay the £43 fee, which is a part year fee. If you were or are pre registered in primary or secondary education, you'll automatically become dual registered in further education. You won't need to take any further action if you're a current registrant and you don't need to do any further qualifications. Registration part one. Eligible lecturers will be contacted by email from the 6th of September. The email will go to your college email and will come directly from the GTCS. This email includes an individualised link which will take you to the online form. If you haven't received your email and you think you should have, please check your junk and other folders and please check with your college HR to make sure that the correct email link was provided for you. If the email is definitely correct and you still haven't received it, please contact the GTCS at the email address provided at the end of this presentation. Complete the online form and upload a copy of your teaching qualification. A photograph of this is fine. If you don't have a copy, then we can accept a copy of an email from the university confirming that you have a teaching qualification. Don't make any payment at this stage. Once you have clicked submit, your form will be processed by GTCS and passed to Disclosure Scotland. Registration part two. Once you've submitted your application, you'll receive an automated email from Disclosure Scotland inviting you to complete an EPVG. Please keep a close eye out for this email coming because you will only have seven days to complete this before the link expires. You need your appropriate ID, a driving licence, passport, utility bill, etc. and you upload this electronically. There's then a one-off payment of £18 for an EPVG update. We are required by law to get an EPVG update because we are a regulatory body. In a very small number of cases, you may need to pay £59 for a full EPVG. That would usually only be if you have something serious on your uh, disclosure, which requires further investigation. Registration part three. Once your EPVG has been processed, a copy will be sent to you and to GTCS. You'll then receive an email inviting payment of £43. That's a one-off part year payment. Next year, from in April 2022, uh, a full payment of £65 will be deducted directly from your salary. Once payment has been made, you'll be added to the register and you'll receive your MyGTCS login details. If you registered 
in 2020-21 session as, as a pilot college registrant, you'll be contacted in August 2021 for the £43 payment. Common issues which arose during the pilot. Firstly, people not receiving the email. Please do check your junk and other folders. Remember that the email will come directly from GTCS and not from your employer. If you haven't received the email, please check in the first instance with your college HR department that you were included on the list of eligible lecturers and that your email had the correct format. If you still haven't received the email, please contact us at collegesector at gtcs.org.uk and we will reissue. If you cannot find your TQFE, in the first instance, please check your college HR department may hold a copy of it. Um, if failing that, an email from the university to confirm that you have a TQFE is fine. And failing that, you may need to contact the university and get a replacement certificate. If you've only recently completed your TQFE, you may only have an electronic certificate due to COVID. That's also absolutely acceptable. If you have missed the seven day EPVG, EPVG deadline, please simply contact us and we will have that reissued. If you have concerns about the EPVG or if you have questions or concerns about any stage of the process, please contact us uh, in confidence, the college sector at gtcs.org.uk or contact the college HR or your local EIS fellow rep. We look forward to welcoming you to GTC Scotland.